at this type of play. Oh, Penny, though. He's shocking Hayes with that bullet right between the eyes right away. We are going to see a flanking maneuver already come in through middle here for TSM. They're already threatening, you know, as they're kind of have to basically play for retake at this point after losing the entry and being cordoned off by these smokes. So talking about whether or not TSM can coordinate a way to get back on this site as this is a great take from V1. Yeah, a very good take and a nice play by player one to make sure that there was no way in for the flankers and the wall. Still getting a whole lot of value. Mm -hmm. Wardell drops down. Ooh, gonna actually go up top, find the first kill. Zels is now to fall. That's the battle sage down. So no alt pips for you. Penny's still playing aggressive. Sheriff in hand. Wardell low HP, but Wardell finds the shot here. Version one now on the back foot. It looks like quite possibly a shock dart queued on up. They're going for the defuse, and there's not a whole lot trying to stop it. Everybody's looking to just get mowed down, but Effie's on the way in, picks up a couple, but TSM secure the pistol. Yeah, really nice retake there while being broken here by the oh. satchels. And again, they cannot get the spike down. Eventually, Hayes is going to get the spam on the Zelsus through the smoke and the wall. Obviously, it's now been just riddled through. And uh, this is getting a little bit tough on V1. They might have to pull the plug, but they can't really back up because Wardell is cutting off that potential. And so Rosa, nice angle. Ooh, player one going to trade it back there. Sheriff in hand really showing up for this version one roster. But the numbers now get cut down to the last one. The Marshall in the hands of Penny. Not going to be the hopper for the team, but the Marshaller in this round, Hayes, finally going to pick up three. It can certainly still have value. Uh, obviously, like you said, it can definitely be taken down pretty quickly by automatic weapons, but it can still sometimes limit the angle, at least for some amount of time, uh, to, to allow you to kind of focus on one particular area and kind of just pick and choose your battles, I guess you can say. But obviously, a full save here from B1 means that not a whole lot is probably going to happen out of their end here, though they do at least get the one pick on Sub Rosa at ELO, but should be TSM cleaning up from this point forward, you would imagine. Though, as I say that, V1er, you know, taking a couple of guys down with them along the way. At least maybe and very likely only one and like one drifting middle. So they're going to bounce back and they're going to go ahead and pounce onto this A site here pretty confidently. They, again, has so much going for them that it'll be very hard for TSM to reel this one back in. They do have one player on site. They do have Sub Rosa flanking in from behind. And Cutler has actually found a couple of kills here. Spending the smoke by screens. He actually gets it back to even numbers. And the spike's not even down yet. But that's a big kill from Penny to maybe break it back open here for V1. But this flank from Sub Rosa could be everything. If the flank that you mentioned is going to get sniffed out by Effies, but he's looking the wrong way. Now the odds are even. Hello? He finds another Sub Rosa. Cuts it down to the last one alive. It's player one. Left all by their lonesome on the side, and Sabrosa on the flank grabs a 3k. Yeah, I mean, the first kill from Sabrosa makes a lot of sense, but I'm so shocked that Penny didn't really react. I mean, he was kind of just leaving himself so exposed to Sabrosa. Well, here, I guess you could say. So they will go ahead and concede that spike plant and just try to work on the retake together. Kind of interesting. We are going to see them use the alt here from Subrosa to get back towards attacking spawn to give them another angle, a flanking angle on this retake. And once again, Subrosa is successful from this spot. And now Wardell bringing up the rear as well. So Epis is going back to try and stop it, but surely he'll be cut down. Penny with the knives, able to cut one down himself. And just like that, TSM, Arsenal advantage, but it's up one to the last remaining. two here. Cutler going to receive his first death. And now Subrosa has to go nuclear in this round. Not only finding two kills, but a defuse running out of time. And it's looking like version one will grab their first. And Sabrosa gets cut down. Well, to get insight and start planning. A couple of smokes down. Well, a handful of smokes going down. Going to block the vision for now. On to Wardell. That spike still hanging out as they try and get Zelsus as many alt orbs as they can grab. Wardell's actually going to go good for one. So Effie's now off the board. No shock dart. No recons. Wardell trades out his teammate, but Vanity's going to get one as well. On top of it all, Wardell's not done. He pops the knives, but the orbital strike pushes him out, and Vanity trades the kill. Now we find ourselves in a 2v2, and that raise that was once anchored on B is very far away. Mm. And now it's all up to drone here on the raise. It's low HP, a boom bot. A dream and an ultimate. We'll see what the showstopper can get done. As Drone just looking to push right through the Molotov. Finds the first kill. It's low HP on the other and Drone closes it out. The defense respect B as an option. Instead of that, they're just going to go heavy handed at it. I guess that's the other way you could do it, Tanner. Yeah, and Wardell is right here to answer. Oh so one goodness. kill, make it a second and B completely on lockdown. It's Sabrosa going to find the third. And this is exactly why we see the go A all game strategy because B is just not free. 
And more importantly, what a huge read as Wardell finds that last kill to kill that way. So he definitely still had impact on the fragging department as well. So big round for V1, and that's a big entry on the Wardell. And a Hunter's Fury, Sabrosa goes aggressive on it though. An aggression matched with aggression, brute force matched with brute force. They're trying to right their wrongs from that last round. And we find ourselves once more cut down to the 3v3, but the resurrection is available. And player one still playing out towards the flank, expecting Sabrosa to come this way. It is going to be a delayed flank. Zelsis looks for any res that he can find. The bro's gonna get caught out, takes down player one who is holding that flank with the spike planted. They're playing pretty far off the side. I think Zelsis was looking for a res somewhere. Yeah. Now playing quite far away and the Molotov might be the only thing that's stopping this diffuse from Q and on up. No, Vanity doesn't even have it. So they get it halfway. The res comes through anyways. And there's just nothing to be found. Oh no one in sight. Drone's able to find a kill. The spike down, but you can see V1's making a really good rotation right now. Again, they're already up five to four. They're stalling TSM very effectively. They're getting it down to the wire on the clock. And now they get another one to their name. With the spike planted, though, it's down to the last two for TSM. This would be a huge round for version one to be able to pick up. And they're one player away from doing it. They do just that. Now we see how TSM battles back. Do they force? Or do they hang on to their pistols? Either way, it's a fourth on the board. And again, V1, a team that you cannot count out just yet. Yeah, that was really well done there by V1. They were a step ahead, basically. They are already getting some pretty big access to be here. A lot of V1 is kind of funneled over towards Kitchen and mid side under two, but now Drone even sneaking in around gets Vanity. And spots went out towards Snowman. Knows one is up in Kitchen. TSM having a whole lot of control outside of this B site as well with the information that they have. The shock dart's going to go through. Nice little angle there in the picture in picture. Unfortunately, nobody playing over towards Yellow and Drone going to get neutralized. So one to one we go across the board. And now it's version one playing against the clock. Penny going to be holding the flank, but not a whole lot to be answered there. As Wardell gets spotted out by the drone. Smokes go through, dashes on over towards yellow. Going to go up top, get some elevation and find a kill here. Now the Hunter's Fury to come through, but Wardell is mowing them all down. It's all down to Zelsis. He's out of time. He's out of HP and TSM grab only to beat. Zephys looks to grab some information. And it's all five members stacked up towards the safe site. TSM. Gonna go back to the brute force ways here. Match some of that version one energy and Wardell getting some early information and an early kill onto player one. That means no utility from the killjoy, no lockdown as well. Right. As Drone huge. looks to get the plant, Effie's with the shock darts. Just gonna go a bit wide and TSM look to have this one almost all wrapped up. They're all mm -hmm. corralled over towards this defender spawn. No, you're absolutely right. This is really tough on V1. That's why I think Zelsus had to play a little bit safer to make sure that that lockdown is going to come into play. Or not Zelsus, excuse me, but just the kill join general for V1. Mm. As we are going to see them still trying to come in as best they can with what they've got. And they're actually getting some nice frags right now. TSM starting to dwindle. Hayes and Cutler, though, finally had the big response, leaving it to Effie, who is sticking his defuse, though, and stopping oh. him. And he is going to pull it all. One, you know, they're having to kind of park a player there at two to try to cut off those rotations. It's going to be Subrosa. He had such an important role to play. Hayes on the comeback. He was that lurker at A is going to come help reinforce Subrosa, hold this to the mid position. And they are winning a lot of these battles, but it is going to be an even three on three when it's all said and done in this next moment. Hunter's Fury in play, but three alts in play for TSM as well, including the lockdown. Yep, orbital strike. No, smoke's actually gonna be queued up. There's the lockdown as well. Wardell gonna dodge out on the recon bolt. Penny to find the first kill. Wardell trades one back to both jets on the board. Here comes the showstopper. And now it's a 1v1. And again, Effie's against the clock here. Has to find drone. And is looking to just save on the way out. TSM finally gonna move to 11. But it costs both teams deep over towards that lurk. Unfortunately for him, there's not going to be a whole lot going on over there. The lockdown available. The knives are still out, but down to the last two is Penny. And has nothing to answer the turret. So just forced to back away. And it could just come down to the time here. No, Sabrosa going to find the shoulder. Penny going to fall. And now with the lockdown, Drone looking to go aggressive. Pushes on into three. Sabrosa is there to trade him back. But they go back and forth. The lockdown just barely out of range there. Nobody to be detained. And version one have to try and find the defuse. It's shock darts. It's low HP. Haze through the smoke. Able to find the kill. The recon bolt. Every well, TSM's remaining players who are sitting back at A never really felt that threat. You know what I mean? So TSM did a great job. What V1 can do is they're trying to just make a really crazy play at middle. 
And it works for once. Rosa going to be completely caught off guard here in this one. But that means a free A take. So we'll have to see the 5v4 retake for version 1. Strong looking to get that spike down. Again, full utility. The economy for TSM coming into this one was looking pretty good. Unfortunately for version 1, you just have to throw everything at it here. As all five members corralled towards the back of this site. Looking to find their way in. All right. Going to be spotted out. Wardell going to find the first kill. That evens the odds, but there's the red. So Vanity going to be back on the board, but Wardell sits him right back down. No entrance for you as player one trying to do their darndest to trade the kills back and forth. But Wardell looking for a 6k on the round. Finds three. And unfortunately, my math doesn't add up because they're down to the last two. And a nice stage wall gets mowed down quite a bit. Down to the last little bit. Wardell to find the ace on the way out. You know, taking those first steps towards competitive power. Oh, oh, Penny! I feel bad he didn't get away with that because that was nasty. But and equally nasty from Cutler to catch it. Did he... He died on the dash or did he yes. run into the wall? Okay, because, yeah, he was completely stunted on the way out. So, I mean... Your, maybe your he did catch the wall. You might be right. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll get it on a replay. I, th I thought he got... I thought he got the dash off and just got caught by a nice shot. But you could be right. Maybe he bumped the wall and that's what got him. Reaction time, either way, from both sides there to pick up a couple of kills, mainly for Cutler to be able to trade that one back. And it opens up, hey, this is kind of similar to what we saw on Icebox, where uh, version one was actually finding an early kill, and the rest of TSM just backing off. Now it's obviously the inverse, uh, but looking to play the retake. It is going to be that 4v4. Smokes mm -hmm. are out, and Shock Darts will look to buy some extra space. Classic it's back to the Ghost meta, too, so... We should see yep. some grapes being popped, uh, especially in those long range battles. I like grapes. Grapes are nice. So we are going to indeed see the retake now coming underway from V1. And player one has been able to find first blood in that regard. They're starting to crack open the door. They're starting to come in. Zelz is threatening to defuse at the same time. Wardell trying to slither in through the door here. He's done his job and more as he finds Epi's. But player one and Zelz is the blink of an eye. Just clear the entire board. Nice Molotov, gonna slow things down for a second. The hot hands coming on through from Zelsis. A spray from downtown. Sierra's in the hand of Effies. Wardell trying to get that door closed. Is gonna do just that, but Penny able to find a kill. Make it another. Hayes is able to trade it back, but TSM down to their last two, and they know just about exactly where they are. Now they definitely know where they're at. As Sabrosa picked up a kill over towards Market on 18 HP. It's the swarm into the A site here. Going to be at the BV1 retaking with no alts and with one of their players hemorrhaging. Very low. And I thought for a second we might see Penny try and push through the blaze wall, but that wouldn't have been the best idea. And Effie's just a few moments too late on that spray with the Ares. It's a round again, a bonus for V1. And we might see them just try and send it here at the end. Blaze wall goes through to cut off a bit of vision. Zelsis trying to find whatever he can. Nobody playing over towards jump up, so not able to spot the head. Now they jump out onto the side. I don't know if Wardell caught the first, but he definitely caught the second. And Zelsis to pick up two. That was the first. Now with the run it back, needs to find these last couple of kills. They're playing so far off the site. They're playing around the spike almost perfectly. And Sabrosa holding it down. TSM looking to pick up their first and they and be completely free here. Sabrosa, this is the second time we've seen it where he's just no got way. so much space here and he finds two kills through the paranoia. It's finally the Bucky to take him down, but the damage has been done. And that bought so much space. You can see the post plant positioning. You've got one playing towards B main. They're not all corralled on the site here. Yeah, they do indeed have good position. They also were able to get themselves back into a three-on-three three, thanks to the efforts of their player on Catwalk there through the Paranoia, still able to multi-frag. But there's still a lot of weapons available for V1 to retake, including a lockdown. And there it is, right on cue. There's no real way out. It looks like a bit of space towards the back of that boathouse, but they surely will be seen. Penny just throwing out the blades, and now it's the 1v1. It's the B main player, but it's Vanity on top. But he's running out of time. He's got to just grab a weapon upgrade and mm. try and do some damage. It, it shouldn't take that much, though, right? It is just sheriffs. And I think if you're version one, at the end of the day, you're looking to hang on to your hero rifle and you're looking to do some damage to the economy. So we're expecting this one 
go the other way and, and they're just holding steady right here on the exit that's exactly what they're looking to do is penny's gonna find the first it's the hero rifle should it fall put you in a pretty bad spot as Hayes finds that one player one trades it back one enemy remaining that spike surely to blow and unfortunately for version one they don't get a whole oh okay tsm down a member and a big one at that you have to expect that everybody is on the safe site now that the spike is planted and sabrosa has taken off the board and vanity cuts down one more where hell is able to trade it back still has the nine to build the right click gonna go wide only has the ghost and now it's all up to drone a blaze wall and a curveball tosses out the flash able to find the diffuser but there's three more in tow e1 grab another round and we are knotted up once more dust yeah, tough on TSM to have Sabrosa caught there at the and run it back. Actually going to be used here from Zelsis to try and stop this one. And that spike down. Player one holding it down. The bouncer at the door of this A site. Wardell to find a kill on his counterpart with that operator in hand. So things go quiet for a second as Wardell tries to walk away back out towards mid. Unfortunately for TSM, the spike <laughs> is down on the site. They have to go left. for it into the shock dart to find a bit of damage down to the last two wardell has since rotated all the way back around and will look to support his teammate from this a main area in some way somehow they just know they can smell hazed here sniffing him out he's got the spike in hand and surely you start to put this one down and players start to push on but wardell is here smokes go down operator in hand break him out from tree to try and stop anybody pushing on through paranoia gonna be used as well and Hayes just corralled and Wardell forced to save version one. Hard to find the answers here. Yeah, they were. They were Ooh. able to stop Sub Rosa from being able to get any more. And into B main. It was once up towards Pizza. So uh, a quick rotation and a quick take onto this B site as Wardell dashes on in. And he's going to use those knives. Player one just using the Vandal he has in hand, just cutting them down as they run on through. Penny is there. And everybody just gets washed from TSM. It was only that one can putting down that alarm bot whenever there's a, a rifle round for TSM. So that one's going to get sniffed out. They know Sabrosa might be looking to play aggressive. And Vanity looking to play aggressive as well, finding that first kill. And mm. any looking for another. I've got another thought on the horizon as that op shot goes wide. But 2021 has been the year of upsets, I feel like. It was 15 straight on Haven. I believe undefeated for Sentinels and Envy managed to take him down. Just as Effies managed to take down Sabrosa, but the kill straight it back. Puts TSM still at a disadvantage. One player and the extra life from Zelsis can help out quite a bit more. Hot hands go down. Cloudburst goes through, but the flash on the opposite side, the curveball, unfortunately, not going to be enough to net a kill. TSM still down one. More dead right. as the knives available and drone inching closer to that running back of his own. Yeah, this is going to be a tough hold for TSM at this point, just being down in the man count. But as you said, Wardell is up. He's got the daggers primed, so there is still that chance for him to pop off. Drone also still alive as well. We know how impactful he can be in these situations. But Vanity clears Wardell right off the rip, and Drone gets overwhelmed. Hayes left in the back, able to get one, but that's going to be it. V1. For all their short laps, some nano swarms down with the alarm bot on top of it all. So completely taking that one away. And hey, on top of it all, Vanity with the 3K. The utility doesn't matter when you're rifling that good drone. Able to take this A sight with Cutler in tow, but not a whole lot to answer for it. Now Cutler kind of left out the dry as the run it back goes through. He's able to trade back a kill, but the odds are now in favor of version one. Oh, yeah. Because they have double the man advantage. I love the Shuri change of pace. Yeah. Like, they already have a nice lead building, and then they just throw a wrench in things for TSM, who are not used to feeling that type of defensive aggression over at middle and B link. That's the first time V1's really gone for something like that, and they choose just the perfect timing to do it. And they actually <laughs> now forfeit the spike back to TSM just so they can gather up together as a unit of four and just... Dog pack their oh my god, TSM has no line. idea oh. what around they feed them. just yet, but that was a mm -hmm. perfect performance from V1, uh, certainly threatening a third map and just trying to run it down there. You saw the paranoia and a curveball using Wardell Sheesh. on the way out. A kiss to Zelsis to find the kill, and Sabrosa tops it off with two mores. Two more, not two more. I want some s'mores. Maybe. I'm down yeah, for s'mores. Two, yeah, s'mores I'm always maybe. down for s'mores, baby. Can we get sponsored by s'mores? I'm down. I guess they're not a company, though, are they? Yeah, I was going to say. Is that, it had to be, it had to be like a combination no, of multiple sponsors, like Puff and like Hershey's or something, come together with uh, like Honey Made. Get something going.
get something going, which is exactly what version one had done on defense. Unfortunately, not able to get done here on the offensive half. And you have to tip your hat, Wardell and Sabroza. I, I think everybody on this TSM roster on the attacking side kind of having a lackluster performance, only picking up three rounds, but it has come right back. And again, the pistol round, it means this is the play. This is the only play. You know what I mean? So yeah. definitely a good change, I think, for, for competitive Valorant. We are going to see V1 on the full stage trying to pounce onto this A site. And well, it's going about the way you'd expect. And TSM, the bouncer at the door. He's back a challenging catwalk already. Sabrosa will drop the smoke and force him to push through. And Penny off of the flash gets a nice kill. But Wardell, quick with the trade, gets the advantage back for TSM. And it's only going to get... Oh, never mind. Not better, but Wardell doesn't care. He's just going to keep his kills. <laughs> yeah, a, a nice pick up there. Wardell actually trading not only Sabrosa there, but Cutler as well, who are uh, both caught in kind of awkward positions. But the Wardell still alive, obviously something you still have to worry about. So a nice 3k to his name, and the last two don't have enough time to rotate off, so they're just corralled as Drone queues up. That curveball is going to be the running back used here by Zelsis, but the body is just right in place, and this yeah. should be an easy column. Both knives going to be popped in this one. It's Wardell actually coming out on top, cutting Penny down as he makes his way on. To this here. Nice paranoia, though, is going to come in and really slow them down. A flash as well. They are just getting pounded on the show point. They can't seem to break through. And now Subrosa will slip in aggressive, catches two of them, and a third. Absolute shutdown left. from Subrosa. Such a big play, a bit risky, but it pays off. Cutler dots the Hunter Fury. Been a little lackluster this game. We haven't seen a whole lot of uh, brain power going run. into those, except for kind of just randomly as the lockdown used. And this is actually a bait. I yep. wonder, it doesn't even look like, like, hey, he's, he's not moving. They're nope. not biting on this. Nope, because I mean, he, he knows that his utility is worthless if he does rotate early, so he wants to make sure he can stick around to put it to use if in, indeed it is a fake and it is indeed going to be that. As he, and he does get the kill. But now Hayes still in position, able to go ahead and put down his utility here. Does get the kill on the Zelsus because of it finds Effies as well. And this is brilliant from TSM. And he starts to queue up for the lockdown one. Here comes the Hunter Fury. Went out from Effies, able to go good for a kill. Penny found one towards this A site as well. And Drone actually going to match this. Going to keep that same energy with the run it back. So Alt's going to be traded out on both sides. Unfortunately, not a whole lot to get done. Zelsis on the flank just outside heaven could get so much value and could close out the round right here. He's able to find one off the back end of the paranoia, make it a second. Now Hayes to get run down. The curveball comes through the flash. He is not long for this world. Find a quick kill, Zelsis. Now looking to go aggro with an ultimate of his own. Unfortunately, going to get sent right back. So Wardell good for one and a half-ish kills. Cutting down the armor of Zelsis. And Penny looking to push all the way through all the rest of the squad. And Hayes sniffs it out. He hears the footsteps. Able to drop the spike on the ground right. And they pick their timing and they land it perfectly. I love the decision making there from V1. But now they have to hold off this retake. And Sub Rosa has already found one. That tree room is just completely on lock. You know, lock the lockdown comes through. Hayes to pop that one. Zels is looking to go aggressive on the back end and quite possibly find the lockdown to try and buy some space for his team. But the kill starts to come through and it's vanity to run him down. But drone oh with the 3k on the flank. TSM will tie things up. What a roller coaster ride of a round. I was liking V1 chances because they on this buy, and granted, you'd love to have a full one. Granted, you'd love to have your jet as Wardell sniffs oh. it out. He picks up two and he's looking to push to match point. The tag comes through, the knives on top of it all. Nice right click. Gonna go wide, unfortunately. 5 HP, he will sneak away, but Sabrosa is kind of giving away that that play was still gonna be over towards this A site. But what I love to see. Is that shrouded step going to get the high ground wow, once more okay. for Vanity and getting way up top and off angle for sure as they look to push through the smoke. The dark can be taken down. Vanity goes good for one. Tries to grab the paranoia on the way down. It's all up to Effie's match point on the line for both of these teams. And against the Sova, you're probably expecting to be playing out towards May. No, hey, sniffs it out and Cutler is there to back him up. It's taking him a while for it to come off right here. Exactly. Hunter Fury gonna get a couple of tags though, so damage is there. Zelsus goes through with the run it back. He picks up two with the ultimate, but Sabrosa should be able to cut him down. No! They answer it back in version one, throwing everything at this A site to try and get to OT. It's drone, it's hazed. 
It's the run it back available. It's going to be used. The curveball goes through. It's going to be sent right back. Now it's all up and again. It gets. Here to still reel this one back in. It's all going to come down to this exchange, I feel like, from Penny trying to come through this mid flank. That, I feel, is what this hinges on. Hayes actually getting sniffed down. Penny here. There's the flank. He peeks the wrong way, and Sabroza will take him down. Hayes, though, on low HP. So the numbers in favor of TSM, although I'm not too sure for how much longer. As it's 10 HP and version 1 working against the clock here. They have to make a play and they've got to do it right here, right now. So Bro's able to go good for another to back up Hayes. That piece from heaven. The last two up top. Looking to split this site up and find the defuse. But they're completely blend their way into a victory. And now they are one round away from finally reaching challengers. Get that monkey. Really different. It's a play towards B. A had been the spot for them in regulation. Now looking to get aggressive over here towards Switch. Color and Hayes gonna find the first couple and they're just starting to get mowed down. It's all down to one.